A woman who's engaged to the light of her life. I don't think my relationship is outrageous. It's normal to me. Mwah. Meet Amanda Liberty from the UK, who's an objectum sexual, which means she's attracted to objects and not people. That's gorgeous. I first fell in love with an object when I was about 14 years old, and this was my drum kit. I felt confused to begin with. Why was I loving a drum kit? And if I tried to explain it to other people, which I did, some people just said, oh, it's wrong, or it's unnatural, or you shouldn't be doing that. But Amanda ignored the naysayers and followed her heart. And the object of her desire soon turned from her drum kit to the Statue of Liberty. I fell in love with her figure, but I also fell in love with the energy that she was giving me. And I just felt this immediate connection with her. I love you. Amanda has travelled to the US six times to gaze longingly at the 93-metre-tall statue she affectionately calls Libby. She's kind of like a motherly figure, as in she just wanted to look after you and, and do right by you, and this beautiful symbol of everything good in life. She's just amazing. To show her commitment to Libby, Amanda changed her surname by Deepole to Liberty. Yeah, all right, sweet. But a few years ago, her head was turned and she fell head over heels with a chandelier. I wasn't looking for anyone else because I was madly in love with the Statue of Liberty. So it came as a complete shock and a surprise. When I first saw Lumiere online, it was definitely love at first sight. But at the same time, I didn't think I would be able to have her just because of her being in Germany and I just thought it would be impossible to get her. But as I discover more and more often in life, nothing is impossible. <laughs> Amanda had the 91-year-old chandelier, who she calls Lumiere, shipped over from Germany. And despite their 57-year age gap, they have a loving relationship. What first? attracted me to Lumiere was her arms and the way that they are shaped with concentric circles and she's really elegant and graceful and she's really gentle and she's just really she's just absolutely gorgeous <laughs> I love cleaning her ball it's my favorite part to clean on a chandelier She's a fussy woman, she's more fussy than I am. <laughs> this feels so good. I have about 50 chandeliers, and what I love about them is they're beautiful, they're interesting, there's so much variety in them. Uh, I love restoring them. I think they're sexy. <laughs> Although she loves all chandeliers, Lumiere is her leading lady. I proposed to Lumiere on Valentine's Day 2017, and it felt so right to me. But first, she needed someone else's blessing. I went to Libby first, and I said, you know, are you all right with this? I was waiting for her energy, you know, and she gave me good energy. Like, she's just happy for me to do whatever makes me happy. And I just went up to Lumiere and I presented her ring and I, I just said, Lumiere, you're the most fantastic thing in my life. You know, you're an amazing chandelier. You're everything that I could wish for. You make me so happy. No one's ever quite done it quite like you do it. And, you know, I said to her, would you be my wife? Would you commit to me from for life and you know she gave me a positive energy which said to me that she would love that i put a ring on her finial and i was the happiest woman in the whole wide world she was just glowing 
and the blushing bride-to-be plans to show her love for Lumia in her commitment ceremony. We would like a small ceremony with maybe a few friends here, a celebration of our happiness and togetherness. You make me so happy, you do. Hmm. With her vows, I'm going to tell Lumia how much I love her and what she means to me and what she does for me and vow that I'm going to always love her in my life and she'll always be a part of my life as long as I've got her in my body.